The time is 12.44 p.m. Eastern, Friday, October 4th, 2024. So I am to tell these special ops I got. You saw me, I'm sure you did, dragging these two massive boxes. Yeah, for years. Yeah, I know, just total despicable, brutal, gruesome abuse of a woman. I know that. But these are the same white and Muslim terrorists. They're white and they're Muslim. You know who we're talking about. The white extremists and the Muslim radical terrorists. They, they'll rape a woman up her anus in a hot second. The white extremist terrorists are in so much meth, they're doing transvestites for sexual pleasure. So I know who I'm talking about. I know who's been enjoying watching this. Total, complete, disgusting, brutal abuse. Well, I'm in here begging for help. So I'm supposed to report to the special ops. I got the two boxes, okay? Yes, the US federal law enforcement with that op from the missing box. FedEx, U UPS, they're always all right in with it. I know, for years, they made it clear. They made it clear after how many years, this is what we're all about. They've thought they were just like the rest of these creep Americans that no one could touch a hair on their head no matter what they did inside of their houses. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm very clear on that. They still don't believe they can um, be prosecuted or arrested no matter what they do inside of their houses. So, all right, <clears throat> I struggled. I, I, I got these huge boxes all by myself into the... Uh, first floor but what I'm supposed to tell you is I clearly identified and saw the DCPD police SUV stalking the house for the US feds right as the boxes were dropped off so I had my green light timer all right and then it was I'm not gonna say where it was on this the minute and the second dial but my green light was split, go down there right now. And I opened the door and there was the DCPD SUV stocking the two boxes that was part of the US Fed op. And I am to say publicly that it was intentionally set on the porch of um, either that house on S and 15th where you smell the corpses coming out of the basement but I can't talk about it because it has directly to do with the city of DC being involved with mutilation and desecration and, and dismemberment of human remains and the removal of them, covering it up. It's way over my head legally, but I witnessed it, but I can't talk about it. So they always have that baby buggy just sitting in the front yard. Yeah, oh no, I know, with their fucking corpses. There's, they're not quite right here. I know there's a lot of drugs because I, I know this compound. There's a lot of drugs in this compound. So you've got to figure the police, everybody's sniffing this shit, smoking this shit. And so they always leave the baby buggy there and you can smell the DBs coming out. I can't say where with the baby buggy sitting there. I think it's for visual, you would think, because there's a fucking reeks there. Um... Or my box was left at the Iranian hooker who thinks she's a world famous celebrity of 1507. Now there were events that I witnessed, but I can't talk about anything else today. Not a word, I know that. Um, but I am supposed to say, yes, they had their op going today surrounding that Iranian hooker that purposely left on the wrong porch cat food for the US feds, this was the day the Mex cartel was out there when I took my garbage out and they hit me with all those bio weapons. Right, so there's something going on with that. It's over my head. I know it's in your department. Oh, it's clear as day. And then they had their little police man in his SUV stuck in my house. And I can't say anything else about what I've witnessed DCPD, Washington Metropolitan Police Department do. But I am to say that and I am to say about the uh, Iranian hooker and that the box I opened it up the Iranian hooker who, th who thinks she's world famous she's directly part of this uh, missing box it came into my porch today and I opened it up and it had been opened 
crushed, torn up, retaped. They opened my box. They opened up the can, the case to the cans of cat food. They're they're on something, man. Yeah. Who is babysitting these terrorists? Yeah. All right, I can't report any of the massive major capital felony crimes I'm witnessing in here, but they're so out of it. Who's babysitting these fucking terrorists here? They're digging like fucking rats through my cat food, taping it back up. And their cops case the box once it's put back on the right porch. Let's pretend we didn't do it. Let's drive in a marked car and stalk. Hope she doesn't open the door. Hope she doesn't see us. Hope she doesn't say anything. Hope the elite special forces don't see any of this. Duh. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore around these kind of fucking imbeciles. I need to go to an AA meeting or something. I mean it. Okay, goodbye.